it's Kelly and I'm back with another two page layout and today we're going to scrap airplane photos. So I'm going to start with that airplane paper there, which is from Bella Boulevard Time to Travel. It's the freeway paper. I used another one of those a couple of weeks ago. And then on top of that, I'm and on the right side, I'm going to use this red paper from Doodlebug Petite Prints, the freeway paper. So the left side will be two photos of us in the airport and we took this picture with our plane because it was like, oh gosh, okay, I guess we really are going because the plane is here, we can see it. And then um, the right hand side is um, pictures of us actually on the plane and um, kind of what that all looked like. We flew premium economy, which was really nice peak. So we had extra room, um, Hopefully, eventually, you'll see where we actually ended up it, by a very cool happenstance flu business home, which was even better. But anyway, so we had a really nice time doing that. So I wanted to get this documented. And what I'm doing here is I cut that paper on the left side, the red paper, to be the same height as what those photos are there. And so I'm kind of just making sure that all of this lines up kind of together. And then I'm matching that um portrait photo to be in line with the portrait photo on the other side so and yes that portrait photo on the right side is me with a glass of champagne in my hand which i had in my hand before we even took off it was lovely <laughs> and good champagne and so that was that was one of the lovely perks of flying air france to paris and then our food was spectacular it was um gourmet food like lots of gourmet different gourmet things this one i'm trying to think that meal hat was like a pumpkin and cheese um gratin it was so good all right so then back to the layout i'm just remembering that lovely meal <laughs> we had an even better one on the way home so I have that uh, 3D plane sticker there, and that is from Bella Boulevard. It's the Bella Pops Jet Set. And then I'm playing with different airplanes as well. So um, uh, the they're really coming from the time to travel ephemera icon. So that's like where the passport came from, and that's where this ticket is coming from. Where the go is coming from all of all of those are coming from that and then i like that time to fly i like the up up and away there um the time to or let's fly away i really like that but it's covering up the words and if i drop it down like i probably normally would do i'm covering part of that plane and i don't want to do that because that's important so i just drop that for now and i'm going to go do something that kind of like i i um like i feel like i know so now I'm just sort of rearranging things that I've had. So I put the flyaway over on top of that piece of, um, it's just a miscellaneous, um, what do I want, journaling card. I think it was from Mambi. It's the back of another journaling card. So just kind of playing around with where these are going. And I like that because I have stuff to say about this, but it also, it almost makes a journaling card like an embellishment itself. So again, all those other pieces other than t the time to fly are die cuts from time to travel ephemera icons. And the up, up, and away is from the ephemera words and tags. There's two different um, embellishment packs for this collection. I think that was from last year. So you might still be able to get, get it. If it wasn't last year, it was early this year. All right, so now I'm thinking about some of the smaller embellishments, and I just added that enamel uh, camera, or epoxy camera, from the Bella Boulevard Time to Travel epoxy. And that's kind of bringing in some more of that, um, that aqua color. So it's really um, navy or blue aqua and red kind of is the theme of this and i really like how those go together and it doesn't feel patriotic to me but it is also really the navy blue and red are the colors in the air france logo so i that was one of the reasons that i used these 
So thinking about like more, more epoxy, what can I do for adding some more epoxy in? I feel like that cluster on the top right needs something else. So right now I have that globe in it. And the heart, forgot about that, I have the heart too. So I'm, I think I'm looking for the alphabet now so that I can do my title. I don't, I haven't, that plane is just, on the left is just resting lightly. It's actually not pushed down. Sorry, you guys, I didn't realize there was such a pause here. So kind of looking at the alphas that I might be able to use. This one is the American Craft Stickers in the Mermaid um, colorway. Kind of toying with this one, and I can't remember what it's called, but I don't have enough of any of these letters left to make any any words. Uh, it may make what I need for the words. I love this alpha. I still have letters here to use. That's why I won't throw it away, even though there's not a lot left of, of the beginning of the alphabet. So I'm back to the mermaid alpha here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, title this at ORD. And just in case you um, didn't know, because why would most people know this? ORD is the airport code for O'Hare Airport in Chicago, which is where we flew out of. All right. So I, that fits nicely. And then the plane then is crossing the two layers of paper in the photograph. And then it's tucked up near the um, air, airplane sticker there. And then they're on this, um, on this sheet, there was a puffy cloud. And then the, um, I'm adding an epoxy puffy cloud there to balance that out a little bit more. So then when I did that, I decided, oh, I could add some clouds over on that top right cluster with the plane and then I took the globe and just put it on the passport so that added some epoxy into that one all right there's the still shot and a couple of detail shots hope you're all well and I will be back with another layout soon bye everybody mm -hmm.